I'm Edward O'Brien, Fire Chief Whitfield County, Georgia, located in the northwest section of the state of Georgia, in the town of Dalton, right on I-75. Today we're here for our final inspection on a 75-foot Aero XT aerial. Um, we're going to start in the front. Some of our items, we're very fortunate. We had a SPLOS tax that gave us the opportunity to purchase these new ladder truck, and uh, It'll be the first ladder truck we've had in the county in about 30 years. So this is exciting for us. We chose the Pierce uh, due to quality, workmanship, and safety, and ease of operation for our personnel. In the front, we standardized all our bumpers with a two and a half inch pre-connect so that we can actually have an attack line. We actually reduce that and run an uh, inch and three quarter so that we can um, have a fire line and or car fire line. We have a about 12 miles of interstate that we cover north and southbound on I-75, so we are really concerned with the safety of our personnel. Some other items that we did add, put little grab bars here. What we've found over time, if firefighters need to clean a windshield, first thing they'll do is, as they're stepping up at such a high step, they'll grab the windshield wiper, damage it, so added grab bars. Little things, Pierce comes right in, we tell them what we want, they figure it out, engineer it, and we were ready to go. We did opt to go with the TAC-4 suspension. As I said, we did we have not had a lot of experience in the department with aerials, so we did go with the, as safe as a unit as we could. Inside, we wanted to make sure that the cab was really user-friendly for the operator of the vehicle. Everything, uh, real arms reach up top for the lights to the left and the right. Have all your aerial operations, pump operations. We have backup camera and right side camera to assist the driver. An item that we found once we came up here, uh, we did our preliminary drawings. We came up for a, a midterm inspection. One of the items our crew saw, kind of a dead space right here in the aerial. We saw this uh, box storage setup that another department had, so we actually had it added to our apparatus. Uh, of course, has lighting, LED lighting, compartment open lights if needed. We'll use it for backboard, maybe uh, brooms, rakes, things like that, just additional storage. We did put a generator on the truck. We have uh, two 100 foot cords coming off, one off each side. We don't have the luxury of uh, an air truck, so we do make sure that we had plenty of air bottle storage throughout the truck, both sides. Other side, it carries additional bottles for us. We chose to go with the ladder just on one side of the truck. We wanted to keep it where the operator was just coming off and down one side. With getting back into aerials, we really wanted to make sure safety was the, and operational ease was the top priorities. Well lit going up to the turntable. Very easy operations. Like I said, it's a 75 foot uh, stick, has the waterway. We have a, a, a monitor on it with the controls from the tip and from the, back, uh, the control module right here on the end. Towards the rear, we did have a few other items that we uh, chose to change around. Uh, we went with some federal lights. They're actually a longer light, so Pierce actually custom built this cover for us to, to support it. It is uh, worthy to be stepped on if, if someone did. It just makes it uh, easy to deal with Pierce. You know, we tell them what we want. And, come back and it's solid. It's, it's not anything that's going to vibrate or fall apart later on us. Like I said, we have the backup camera. Everything's well protected. Uh, you know, firemen, hose, tools, equipment's going to fall, hit it, hit things. So we, they did a great job protecting everything for us. Got additional deck lights that are very easy to use. Can control back here and from the cab, up, down, left, right, for whatever we need for the evening scenes. We never had a lot of lighting equipment, so we did put a scene light and a big quartz on each side for firefighter safety for during the nights. Our dealer is actually gonna mount the equipment for us. One of the new items we're trying out this, on this apparatus is just it assist with the uh, flat tools, axes, pry bars, halligans, just makes a nice storage, really utilizes the entire compartment. We standardize our uh, Hose lays, we had actually purchased four Sabres uh, that we took delivery of about four months ago from Pierce. We run a two and a half cross lay and then two inch and three quarters. So this, this will actually run out daily as an engine company with the aerial on it. So this will be a busy apparatus for us. And that was one of our big items to go with the 75 foot single axle. We have some issues of our height of our station, so we really had to stay low. 
Pierce guaranteed us would come in under on our height and, and they actually came below what they thought they would. Coming around here, this side, you know, we do have the, the right side camera. You turn that right blinker on, comes on, really helps a lot with the drivers driving these longer, taller trucks that, that they're not accustomed to. We did actually add a feature of uh, hitches, left, right, and center. We'll have a 9,000 pound winch we can slide in there. This aerial and another one that we have lacked kind of as our heavy rescue truck. We looked to them for the specialized extrication. They carried the airbags and some uh, stabilization struts in addition to the normal uh, her, uh, extrication jaws and spreaders and cutters. And up top, this is the, our electric nozzle. We did a lot of lights on the front too to make sure that uh, we can light up the scene all four corners of the truck. Off to the side, we did add an extra two and a half. We have a lot of industrial, large, large carpet industrial buildings. So if we need to get to the roof, we'll be able to supply it very easily. We're wrapping up our final inspection today. Delivery is expected next week. We'll have this truck in town with our dealer, 10-8 fire apparatus to do the mounting of the uh, loose tools and equipment. And at this point, we'd like to thank our dealership, 10-8, and especially our sales rep, Guy Binion, He's done an excellent job assisting us in creating this truck. Pierce has made this simple, 10-8 has made the process easy, and Guy Binion has done an excellent job on support for Pierce.